Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black and welcome to part 5, the final part, of the post-game of Land of the Night and the Heroes of Seven Worlds. Just when I finally get used to saying that long-ass name. So this time we're finally going into the Demon Castle. Now when we came here the first time we were told that the Mao Gilgorn and Fulbio were probably still within. And now we've also got these fox girls to talk to. Of the treasure chests on this floor, three remain. Do your best and search for them. Yeah, I can't be asked. But if you're curious about how many treasure chests remain on each floor, these fox girls will tell you. They have a few other things to say on certain floors, which we'll get to when we get to. Like I said, these shortcuts are big time time saver. Big time time saver, wow. Whoops. Uh oh. I messed up. I said I would show you when the time comes and I just walked by this one that I need to talk to. On this floor, there remains one chest. Do your best and search it out. Also, on this floor, the Mao has hidden herself away. She seems to be researching something. Okay, great. At least she's easy to find. But we can't shortcut over to the next floor. Luca goes, huh? This fox statue shouldn't be here. But it is. The Mao asked a favor of me. I'm watching the passage here, and that's all she has to say. The reason is, is there's an automatic scene when you approach her, and if that fox weren't there, you could approach the scene from the wrong direction, which would, well, that just doesn't make sense. You guys, huh? Since we've resolved the matter with the nightmares, you don't have any business. You shouldn't have any biz with business with me anymore. Someone of such caliber yourself, of your as yourself, just by being around disorders, well, the order of things. As a ruler yourself, you understand that, don't you? Hmm. Even without any doing anything, I become something that d disturbs the peace, huh? But I have no intention of moving from this place. You're also the same in your thoughts that you want to return to your original world, right? If you come with us, that will be easier to accomplish. Enough! I told you that I have no intention of moving from here. If you insist upon this, then I will use my power to wipe you away. How stubborn. It can't be helped. Using pleasure will bend you to our will. <laughs> I thought it might come to this, and I've prepared a countermeasure. It's the same countermeasure as before. In front of her, the wall of reality appears. Apparently this time it's not disappearing right away, though. This wall, it rejects the dream world. That's right. This wall refuses the truth of the dream world. Any kind of pleasure 
will no longer affect me. Is that true? So then, why don't we try it out? There's nothing to do but try. Toss and Rijail attempt to attack Gilgorn with pleasure, but it's completely denied. Ha 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 ha. Know your place. It really doesn't work. In that case, continuing is unreasonable. I could do it. Now, you may disappear from my sight post haste. As she says, we need to retreat now. If we don't have some kind of countermeasure, then we got nothing on her. As long as the wall of reality exists, we can't fight against Gilgorn properly. But if we had some attack mutants that could bust through that wall. Right now we don't have a satisfying hand to take. So let's come back to this later. If we chase if while chasing down the other members of the Alliance, we may some other method might float up. But now let's continue to explore the demon castle. You might notice this is here, but it's the exact same room we found in the demon castle before the land of the night corrosion. So if you opened it in the original, then it'll still be, that chest will still be open in this version. Sheep girl. Meh, meh. So. The sheep girl is pitifully uh, crying. What's the verb for when a sheep does its thing? Bleat. The sheep girl is piteously bleating. This girl, what's up with her? And the castle's in the state it is, and she's completely petrified. She doesn't want to leave my side. Oh. How pitiful. Meh. Meh. Well, let's just leave her alone. And so, I think it's been explained when I refused to come through here the first time that we've got the Mao and we've got full Bua down here. Out of my way! Jeez. So, full Bua is probably in the same damn throne she refused to leave last time, so... Well, we'll find her there, won't we? Are we there yet? Nope. Mm. Ah, I remember. And I remember this place. Where you can leave yourself in an unwinnable situation. Those are always fun. Is this the floor? Oh. This is... Yeah, same thing. No, this way. This looks like it. The treasure chests on this floor are already all found. Congratulations! Further, on this floor, there's an incredibly pretty nightmare. She says she's the embodiment of beauty. Well, I can think of one person who matches that description. That is, one person who says that of herself. As usual, let's talk to her from the back. I knew that you would come. We've come desirous of you, Fulbio Shina Restani. 
Yes, that is right. Finally, you have become honest with your heart. Jeez. I'm saying it sarcastically, though. No. That is your true... That is your true intent. Overflowing from your heart. It is your true words spoken in the manner of sarcasm. Such absolute confidence. From a certain point of view, I could admire her. <laughs> so, in contrast to fuel, in contrast, well, Unlike her power, the incredible power that she holds amongst the Alliance, she's unexpectedly harmless. But it's, after all, it is, after all, dangerous to just leave her to her own devices, considering how much power she has. There's always the possibility that through some whim of hers, she'll cause another ruckus. Fool Bua, won't you come with us? Hmm. Does the outside world possess an enjoyment sufficient that I should leave this throne? In that case, once again, Show that pleasure to me. Enjoyment, I should say. As before, well, not as before, not with the thought of hurrying onward or of, or in pursuit of an objective or seeing me as an obstacle to be overcome just purely desire me. Yeah, that's how she is. Understood. There's no other way. In the end, we can't avoid a fight. Let's go. They certainly do have their own style, don't they? These eccentric ones. With this, you should have learned the thing that you are truly desirous of. Uh, I don't get it at all. But if we act like we got it, won't this go a bit faster? Here, one more thing. I want you to show me your hearts. If you want me to be your companion, bring me a, an offering. An offering? Just what do you want? Something more beautiful than myself. Bring that thing here to me. If you can do that, then I will grant you the honor of becoming your companion. <laughs> if you can do it, that is. Fool Bure yourself, you are the pride, you are the pride, uh, the proud embodiment, the, the, sorry, give me a sec, I got this. Your pride is that your beauty is first, second to none in this world. A beauty that would go be above, and above and beyond that doesn't should not exist in this world. That's the response that you're waiting for. 
but was that good enough? <laughs> well done. That's right. Those are conditions that are impossible for, to fulfill. To see through the topic cleverly to the so, so cleverly see through to the conclusion. I appraise your efforts as I appraise your efforts well. An absolutely unfulfillable condition. It's like the Kobayashi Mario Kobayashi Maru scenario. Kobayashi Maru. Well, in a drama that was in my world. No, never mind. Anyway, we know what she wants. Although, from the very beginning, it's impossible to fulfill. It's a reckless conversation. <laughs> I have high expectations of you. Just what will you bring to me, I wonder? And somehow, we've got to prepare an offering that will satisfy Fulbua. Something said to be more beautiful than her which can't exist. But, anyway. Full viewer. Except this. So we give the mirror of truth to full viewer. In the mirror's face, full viewer's beautiful appearance appears. That which is more beautiful than myself is only myself. I see. That is what you want to say. To answer my question, you have worried your heads and brought forth an answer, haven't you? Your efforts. I must recognize them. So then, will you become our companion? Yes. Anyway, I was getting tired of this throne. Since you fulfilled your promise, I shall respond in kind. Great. Full view is in our party now. On the contrary, I don't understand why you weren't tired of it before. Why didn't you get bored sitting in this place? I hardly need to answer that now, do I? My response, you understand, don't you? No matter where, if you are there, then it shines, right? That I knew the answer to that makes me sad. Master, you get along well with Fulvioa, don't you? Getting on well. More than saying that, I've been sharpened by her. In a bad way. To this poor world, I've got to show a beauty that does not falter. <laughs> it seems I will become, be becoming busy. One more thing. I'll give you a special reward. Except this. Confusion.
What Fuel Bure gives to a wall rat is a rune stone. The Rune of Shining Rage. It does not compare to my shining, but take it. The rune that he takes fills Lorat with power. Lorat learns Shining Rage. Hey, if we've got this magic, could we break through Gilgorn's Wall of Reality? Yes, most likely it should be possible. Let's hurry and go challenge Gilgorn. If that wall of reality wasn't there, her weak point, pleasure, we could hit her with. So if we can do that, we might be able we should be able to topple now all Gilgorn. I think I tried to say this once, but I bet I could get my party such that they didn't need to rely on her weakness. But, for plot reasons, I couldn't. And, we aren't heading this way. Um, I'm lost. I'm found. We aren't headed back to Gilgorn yet. There's a little bit more to do. This place. You see that this door is still here. It's still a trap that kills you, so don't go in it. Even after everything's ended. But there's still something to grab from the location of the final boss. Shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. Est's sweet fragrance remains. So the seven heroes learned the Heroes of Seven Worlds, which is a special skill. Rolf, Lorat, and Nobisa learned Battlefuck Seal, which presumably means they can't use their sex techniques that they naturally come with. As for that skill called the Heroes of Seven Worlds, it's the skill that lets... Remember the final battle against Est, where all of our attacks got the pleasure attribute? If we equip that ability, then we'll be able to do that all the time. Now let's head back to my old Gilgorn. I wonder if it'd be faster to warp out and come in from the bottom. But, I may as well just commit to it, doing it this way. This wasn't it, right? Nope. I think this is the way. No, I think I've got one more floor. Hmm. This place is so confusing. I have a feeling I passed it. What floor am I on? Six. Okay, I'll try one more floor. This is floor five. Aha, this was the shortcut. I shouldn't have recognized. I should have known I would recognize the shortcut I needed to hit two fox statues to get through. But anyway, here we are. Ah, uh, poor sheep. But anyway. Hmm. No matter how many times you come, it's useless. In front of Gilgorn, the wall of reality appears. Lorette. Go to it. Laura chants Shining Rage. Let's see. Steel Hammer, Shining Light, 
crushes darkness, pierces evil things, etc. So, the wall of reality takes 999,999 damage. And the wall of reality is destroyed. I could do more damage than that. Huh? With this, there's no wall to protect you. So then, you're going to we're going to bend you to pleasure. The sensitive, sensitive and rapture will work well, it seems. Those are two status effects. <laughs> we'll have you feeling it in no time. And I will help out too. I am a nightmare, so to speak. So, it's my specialty. Come on. <laughs> We're going to attack you until you can't stand anymore. Heat! Stop it! Stay away from me! Poor girl. Mini finished her off. <laughs> to come to this end. That's why I didn't want to leave here. <sighs> I'm so easily exploited by nightmares. I hate this body of mine. As also a Mao, one who is crowned, I feel a bit of pity for her. Well, if you'd obediently listen to what we had to say, you wouldn't have had to show this. This would not have come to pass. So, she's in our party. I feel like we're doing something really cruel here. Anyway, with this, we've secured Gilgorn. So this instance is solved, I guess. <laughs> this girl is cute. D damn it. Stop it. Yeah. Yeah, we are doing something really cruel to her. With this, all, all of the alliance that was scattered throughout the world has become our allies. So now, truly, the incident is resolved. Except I'd like to talk to that sheep girl. Well, I don't get the chance, now do I? Here's the epilogue of the post-game, I guess. So, finally we've secured all of the Alliance. But, to have all such, such a lineup of troublesome characters together, so we need to watch over all of these people. Can we do really do that, just us? There's no need to be watching over us. At the very least, we three have no interest in starting anything. We got what we needed, after all. <laughs> Even further, we should be thanking you. And so, for a while, we'll be obedient here. We can't steal a bit of food now and then, can we? From the beginning, 
We didn't want to be involved too deeply anyhow. In any case, there's something in our original world that we need to do. If we can return, we would want to return immediately. Huh? I wanted to play more. It's... It'd be like, uh... Finally getting an overseas trip. But if we'll be leaving anyway... We'd want... I'd want to leave after... Doing all we want here. I'll keep an eye on Miska for you. I don't want to vex Grandmother any further than this. Right? By the way, why am I here? I never wanted to be associated with these people in the first place. Well, the reason you're here is because you're the bad guy of your game. So, as the bad guy of your game, you should have been in the lines. But you're such a self-centered, egotistical, well, independent girl that you'd have never agreed to the alliance anyway, so you had to be thrown in with the good guys to start with. And that's the story about that, Daimyomi. I, too, am getting to the point where I'd like to return to my world. Although I'd rather not. For that purpose, I'll lend your hand to you. We shall do as you wish, Musette, Lady Musette. We are your, of one mind and body. And wanting to return to our original worlds, I am the same in that. We need to find a way in order to do it. If I return to my world, then from this world will disappear the ultimate beauty. But still, I do need to return. Now, in this moment, my original world desires me, after all. Well, everybody is in agreement in wanting to return to their original worlds. There's two more that haven't spoken, but we'll take Alice at her word here. But, the gate that brought you here doesn't exist anymore. Could we again borrow the power of the White Rabbit. If she were here, I could drop her into a dream for you, though. The first gate was opened through a mistake of the White Rabbit. And after that, manipulating the White Rabbit, she interfered with all these other worlds. Yeah, maybe she's not the person we should be trusting with that. There is the possibility that we could get the gate, get the rabbit to open another gate, but the essential white rabbit, we don't have a way of contacting her. In connection with that, I want to ask one thing, though. Why was the White Rabbit weakened so much? The White Rabbit was weakened. Wasn't it because Est defeated her with pleasure? No. 
Even before that, she was weakened. From the way I could see it, she was trying to hide the fact that she was debilitated. And furthermore, the mistakenly opened gate in the first place, that happened because she was weakened. Now that you mention it, all that time you were transformed into the White Rabbit, weren't you? Her memories and personality, we could see that you had copied them. My transformation is a perfect copy that can't be detected, including the original's memories. But that's only when analysis of the original is complete. The transformation into that rabbit honestly, was half-measured. For that reason, with the, with the parts of her memories that were lacking and vague, I got outed. The origin of the heroes do you know it or not? My understanding of her knowledge of that was bad in the end. So the Tanko transformed into the White Rabbit knew about Kazuya's past and said something incidentally. For that reason, her true nature was revealed. So, the White Rabbit was unable... You weren't able to fully analyze the White Rabbit. The analysis, or anything. The White Rabbit, to begin with, didn't exist. Or rather, a true body of the White Rabbit didn't exist. She's not an existence, she's a concept, nothing more. I... I can't transform into laws or into concepts like the Fibonacci sequence or the second law of thermodynamics. For that reason, a perfect transformation into the White Rabbit is impossible. She is a natural law. She's not an existence that has a proper body. So, yes, the White Rabbit herself said something like that. I thought, so, she wasn't spouting nonsense after all. What we call the White Rabbit is, in the end, a physical law. And the rabbit's body is, in the end, a... An operating terminal that moves through the working of the law. And that's all. And one of those terminals, as you know, Est was able to capture. And I infiltrated into that terminal's spirit. But... The name of this map is the White Rabbit Spirit 2.0.
territory. Hmm, curious, huh? This is... What a strange spirit. The further I infiltrate, the further out I get. So as if by, mo by try attempting to move in, she's moving out. It's close to being a hive mind. And she can't reach the center of it. This white rabbit. She's a terminal and not a proper existence. Within the macro is the micro, and within the micro is the macro. Oh, she's fractal. Great. Her spirit and her body are constructed into a loop, and she's every kind of existence. And further, she pretty much doesn't have any individual memories. This thing clearly isn't a living creature. This genome sequence. There's evidence remaining. Forensics showing it was overwritten. Was it overwritten by something? In a portion of the DNA, there are there's fragmented information of what was it, of what it was before it was overwritten, but there isn't enough to piece together the whole picture. It's indecipherable. This one was originally a different living creature, individual creature, and through some corrosion, she was overwritten into being the white rabbit. So that creature was, well, we don't know what. But one thing is certain. The White Rabbit's previous form saw dreams. For that reason, she could be taken over by Est. Well, the terminal could be taken over by Est. Anyway, there's insufficient material. The emulation will be incomplete. So a complete transformation is is useless to attempt. Well, not to attempt. Unreasonable to think it will come through. So just these fragments of memories from recent times when this was moving as the white rabbit. So service level way of speaking and mannerisms behavior. What I can replicate is just about limited to that. But just a little more. This rabbit. No, this law. Can't I burrow in a little further to its true nature? It's unreasonable to go any further. To begin with, this was nothing more than a terminal, after all. In this spirit territory, you've come into contact with me.
You are in existence from another world, aren't you? From what I can see, you're of the administrator class. So there are administrators of worlds. Back in the destroyed world, way back in part one, the administrator was La Croa. Although the world was being destroyed, so an administrator class didn't need to be too powerful, I suppose. You, White Rabbit. No, you aren't, are you? I don't feel even the slightest trace of any overwhelming presence. Even the feeling of her existence is light and distributed. As if it's just a false image. I'm not the White Rabbit. Furthermore, I still don't exist. That's a strange thing to say. If you don't exist, then why are you here? It's because you have come to observe me. For that reason, now, I have a temporary definition as an existence. Apiro Lagos. That is my definition. Display dialogue. Hello, world. Anyway, Apiro Lagos. I looked it up. Looks like it's Greek. White rabbit. But I'll call her Apiro. Well, welcome to the world. You existence who was not able to be. So then, I have a message I'd like to give to you. I'd like to entrust to you. Search for the third way. That's it. The father of chaos. He's here. He's there, isn't he? I'm counting on you to to uh, to create the history that connects to me. Hmm. Well, if your request is on the level of a message, you can count on me then. But I don't have any recollection of some father of chaos. Then the destroyer or the judger will be fine. One of those if you go to one of those, then the message will be conveyed. So then, I'll be waiting. For the, for the future that connects a path to we who are omnipot, omniscient, omnipresent. We? Then, Datsuko noticed. Not just Apiro Lagos, but there were others here. We, the Disciples of Chaos, are waiting in the space, in the gaps of history, 
for the coming of yeah as if they're just trying to be difficult isn't that right dad well now that's not a cliffhanger at all <clears throat> And that is all that I saw. Since we're companions now, I'm conveying the message to you. Destroyer, judger, or father of chaos. Search for a third way. Lots of strange things said. Alice says, Apiro Lagos. So closely resembling the White Rabbit. Just what is she? Further, the Disciples of Chaos and an almost undecipherable message. A future that connects to them. Just what could that mean? And it bothers us, the story about the white rabbit being debilitated. Is there some connection to the way the world is being uh, devoured by chaos? You guys are... No. This world is embracing a crisis. As long as you can't f until yes as long as you cannot resolve it it will be difficult to return to our original worlds won't it so in that way we're going to be counting on your cooperation from here on You guys are all dangerous existences, but if you would fight alongside us, that would be reassuring. For the sake of returning to our original world, we'll lend you our power. If you, you are insufficiently supplied in battles, then give us a call. I would rather not, but you may use my power for the sake of returning to my original world. I'll do a little work for you. <laughs> it seems we can still, and there is still some enjoyment to be had. More and more, show me splendid dreams. Stay on topic, will you? Hey, why am I here? Somebody listen to me. You're ignoring me. Yes, we did ignore you the first time, didn't you? Didn't we? And we'll ignore you again. Everybody, thank you. In the end, far from a way to return to their original worlds. Although we fought as enemies once, they're lending us their power. So then, now our fight continues. Until we return peace to this world. And still, our battle isn't over. Until we pull ourselves through the approaching crisis to all the worlds. So that's that. But there are a couple things to do. For one, oh yeah, we're standing right in front of Grand Noah. I told you about that sheep. Damn screen transitions. Okay. Everything fails. Uh, 
Okay, there's a sheep on floor four, I think. Which shouldn't take too long. Now you might wonder why I would want to track down a sheep in the middle of nowhere. We already have a sheep girl. Mary. And she's a drunk. But this sheep. This is the one, right? One more treasure left. Further on this floor, there's a strange sheep. In the place where the mall was, she's bleeding pitifully. Yep, that's what we're looking for. Just around a couple more turns. Bingo. Meh. <laughs> Meh. So, the sheep girl bleats pitifully, pitiably. This girl, what's wrong with her? Thanks to the condition of the castles, she is completely petrified. This isn't changed from before. Meh, meh. But, I'm leaving here. What will you do? I want you to take me with you. Very well, I'll allow it. Come along with me. We got one. Uh, Ohitsuji sama. This is a common play on words in Japanese because the word word sheep is close to the word retainer or no, butler. So we got a butler, a sheep. Anyway, she became an accessory. What a mysterious sheep she was. It too, perhaps wasn't from our wor world originally. It's an accessory, which is only equipable by Mao Gilgorn herself. Um. What did it do? Here it is. It's only equipable by Gilgorn and recovers party health every turn. Increases magic power by 40%. Magic defense by 40%. Speed by 40%. And that's what it does. I hope the poor girl doesn't uh, dislike being an accessory. And we got one more scene in this update. And this will end all of the content of the Land of the Night. Do you remember back at the beginning, which said she would research nightmares? Ah, you've come back. In the incident, ultimately, I was unable to find any useful documents, but by coincidence, I found an interesting book of secrets. If you have nightmares amongst your allies, wouldn't it come in handy? A book of secrets for nightmares. But we can't use techniques that inflict harm. That's right. Nightmares can't use most weapon techniques. But, and for that reason, even if you equip weapons, then your usable techniques, well, you don't get any, right? In this book of secrets, there are erotic techniques 
special erotic techniques to be used through these through weaponry. There are the rapier, the whip, and the fan type weapons included. In that case, we might be able to use them. Would you show me that book of secrets? So Rijeo gets this rapier technique, whip technique, and fan technique. And Fulbio, as you recall, is a nightmare as well. Are these techniques beautiful, I wonder? Of course you would wonder that. And Est is our last nightmare. Still more, still one more new dream. So these are dreams to her. Whatever, I'm not going to question it. Those techniques, if they're useful, I'd be pleased. And that's it. If we go back in, she's not there anymore. So with this, I end my playthrough of Lord of the Night and Heroes of Seven Worlds. Torotoro Resistance, the developer, has promised another update coming up soon with some, I think, small changes. Particularly to how the Labyrinth of Chaos works. If there's anything really substantive, I'll review that when it comes out, but for now, let's say thank you for watching and I will see you when the final part of Mon Moose Quest Paradox RPG comes out, whenever that is.